Meet Paracircis sculpta, a marine isopod native to the intertidal waters of the Northeast Pacific Ocean and aquatic cousin to the well-known roly-polies. Like many other species, such as lions and elephant seals, an alpha male presides over a harem of females, a group to which he presumably has exclusive mating rights and which he must defend tooth and nail from other males in order to keep those rights. However, in this species, instead of confronting the alpha male head-on, the other males have developed disguises that allow them to sneak by the alphas to the indifferent females. But how do they do this? The males of Paracircis sculpta come in three distinct, equally viable forms that distinguish them from each other, yet seem to make no difference to the females. The first of these males is our main man, the alpha male, who is marked by two forcep-like appendages at his tail, which he uses both to display his masculinity and to defend his harem. The alpha male assembles his harem by establishing himself in the cavity of a sponge, where he sits displaying his fantail to attract the passing females. Known to settle with the first tail they see, the females will engage in a ritual courtship, grabbing the tail with their mouth and shaking it. The secret handshake is accepted, and the male permits her to enter. He doesn't mate with her immediately, however, because he knows that with these females, timing is everything. Females of this species are only able to reproduce once in their lifetimes, after undergoing a process known as molting, wherein the female sheds her exoskeleton to reveal her softer underside. During this coming-of-age process, however, she also loses her mouth parts, meaning she will have to sustain her offspring using only stored resources, and that she will usually die soon after she has reared her one brood of children. So while he waits for his moment, the alpha male continues to showcase his tail and attract more females to the sponge, while simultaneously guarding the entrance from other alpha males. He repeats this process over and over again, assembling as many as 19 females in his sponge. But as he gains more females, he also gains some unwanted publicity, as the other males in the neighborhood become more eager for a piece of the genetic action. This is where the other two types of males come in. One of them is known as the beta male, whose body resembles almost down to a T, the size and structure of an adult female. With this guise, he is able to perform the courtship ritual exactly as the females do, and the unsuspecting alpha male grants him entry. Confidence is the alpha male's fatal flaw, for while he's thinking he's just scored another hot date, the beta male is inside mating with the females. Where the beta male uses deception, the third type of male, the gamma male, uses stealth. His body type mimics that of a juvenile, and he is able to use his small size to make a mad rush at the alpha hoping to slip by and lodge himself into a crevice out of the reach of the alpha male's grasp. Though all three types of males are equally viable when alone with these females, success rates do differ based on how many receptive females are present within the sponge. The more females there are, the more likely the event of an intrusion. The rules of the ocean are clear. You pay the price for greed. My name is Louisa Pitney, and this is CreatureCast.